grace, power, ministry, and love. Incline your ears to wisdom and your hearts to understanding. Receive the word of God according to knowledge. Welcome to preach. To preach. To preach. Be a voice, not an echo. Join Minister Chantrell for today's message. Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me again today on Preach Be Your Voice, Not an Echo. This is vision number two. Today is September the 28th of 2018. It is 1146 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to combine these two dreams together, as I told you before. Um, the first one, you know, I prayed about it before. I, uh, let me make sure I got this. Uh, I got it down because I had this one on September the 25th. And... Um, it's a person that I saw in the vision with other people and as well as an angel and he was in all white and this person I know happened to be still alive. So I don't know. Uh, anyway, I still want us to pray for him because I know, uh, let me see, James Earl Jones. I, I know all y'all know James Earl Jones. He's been acting a long time and many of us didn't even know who he was till he played Mufasa or, or King Joffrey Jeffer. <laughs> and coming to America. And I know he's at least like 87. He's up there. And so I don't know if it's just that we need to pray for him or if he's getting ready to transition because I saw him where he shouldn't be and he was in all white and he's still alive. Uh, so I'm praying um, because, of course, if he's transitioning, we're, we're going to pray for him regardless. Um, if there's something that he's going that's going on privately that we may not know about, I didn't get shown any illness, but I would still prefer that we pray and to cover him um, in all things um, because you just never know what people are going through at home. So I want us to pray for James or Jones. I don't know if he's going through anything at home. I don't know if he has an illness. I don't know if he's getting ready to transition. Uh, prayer is never bad. And the Lord says prayer and supplication be made for all men. So I want us to come together as the body and pray uh, uh, for James Earl Jones. Um, like I said, uh, the Lord didn't show me anything specific on illness or anything, but he was not there uh, with an angel and a couple other people that I'm not going to name uh, for nothing. And I prayed about it a couple days and I'm going to put that out there. That is the first vision. And I'm going to put both of these probably on one arc because it was just that short. Uh, the next one. I, I don't know nothing. Y'all people don't understand because you have to exercise in your gifts as the Lord continues to elevate you in them. It's like any other spiritual muscle as that. I am a teacher. I'm a minister um, moving forth in prophetic that I have to believe what the Lord is showing me and deliver because I've watched things come to pass. Some of the things he's given me has not come to pass yet because they're terrible. And the Lord always wants people to live. OK, I know what the Lord showed me. There's going to be some stuff, y'all. And just because it doesn't happen quick, don't y'all start putting your mouth on people. Isaiah and Ezekiel and, them, they, and John didn't even live to see his stuff come to pass. Okay, let me get it. Let me stay on course. Because the next, this is about the Indianapolis 500. I don't know nothing about the Indianapolis 500. This happened last night, September the 28th of 2018, early a.m. And I'm showing the next Indianapolis 500 to be uh, Sunday, May 26th of 2019 at the Motor Speedway in Indiana. Okay. This could be somebody that's going to get hurt before this. I don't know who this guy is because I don't know nothing about the Indianapolis 500. Okay. I never watch it. And they have it on TV when you think you're going to get to watch something else. <laughs> but whoever this guy was, I'm, po I'm almost positive his hair was blonde. Are dusty brown blonde. And you know, sometimes people's hair color change on the season. That's why I'm concerned. Whoever this guy was, I saw the motor speedway as clear as I see myself on this camera. And people were all in this in the stands. And this man was going around this thing fast. And I could hear everyone speaking about how no one had ever driven like this. So whoever this guy was is very, very good. And um, he was going around at a speed that Almost was unnatural. Uh, it's hard for me to explain what I was getting in this vision. I ain't go. It's almost like he allows his mind to go somewhere else, and that's how he drives around the thing. That's what I got from that. I I don't know no other way to say it, because that's what I was being given. This man literally let his mind. I, was, I ain't gonna say transcend. 
He let his mind not even be there in a way we would when we driving. And that's how he was so good at this. That's what I got. And as he was going around this thing, there was a terrible crash. I felt this pain. And there was an immediate flash of light, a blinding white light. Now, I don't know if that's just the light of the crash or if his life got snuffed out at that moment. I don't know. I felt the pain of the, it's hard to explain. Not like pain you would from injury. Uh, it's hard to explain. If you've ever just hit something real fast and the immediate bonk of blood you taste in your mouth and that immediate, immediate quick pain, that pain and a blinding white light that consumed him. Okay. So either a bad wreck that this person will survive or a bad wreck that is intended to take him out. We got to pray. And I don't even know which one to pray for. Pray for Indianapolis 500 drivers. This is a guy. I'm sure I saw dusty brown blonde hair with blue eyes. Could have been different eyes. Not super, super blonde. Not super, super dark. That's what I saw. Now, if he going to be practicing before the Indianapolis 500, you know they do. I don't know. But an Indianapolis 500 driver, uh, a bad wreck that would be very destructive or take, the, or take their life. So pray. Them are the two visions. That's all I got for you. I'm going to use the scripture that I did. Uh, I, I hope y'all listen to the other dream because I'm telling you that dream had to do with the farmer and the latter rain. I'm sure the angels that flooded the earth were immaculate. John 13 and 19. Now I tell you before it come to pass that when it come to pass, you may believe that I am he. That's the Lord speaking to us and me. Uh, provision. Uh, uh, good Lord. Proverbs 29 and 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Second Chronicles 36 and 16. But they mocked the messengers of God and despised his words until the wrath of the Lord arose until there is no remedy. Don't allow yourself to get to where there is no remedy. I've told you I've delivered various re rebuke and return and corrective messages for the time of reprobating the time of the giving over and spiritual adjudication is up on us. And I will keep saying it. Ezekiel 33. I mean, John, 1 John 4 and 6, he that knoweth God heareth us, and he that is not of God heareth us not. Ezekiel 33 and 33, and when, with, uh, and when this comes to pass and Lord will come, then they will know that a prophet has been among them, okay? Uh, Matthew 10 and 27, what I tell you in the darkness, that speak ye in light, and what you hear in the ear, that's preach on the housetops. And I'm preaching, even as I teach, and even as the vision the Lord give me, what I hear in the uh, ear from the Holy Spirit, I preach up on the house, housetops. Ezekiel 3 and 20, I'm warning the righteous to return unto the Lord. And according to Ezekiel 33 and 7 and 9, I'm warning the wicked to repent and receive the love of the truth that you could be brought over into the body of Christ. As far as Ezekiel 3 and 20, with the righteous, correct yourself, because those who are double-minded are unstable, and those who are straddling the fence will be given over. Um, that's the end of that vision. Take these dreams before the Lord. Pray for these people, okay? He does not show me this stuff for nothing. People I ain't seen in I don't know how long, and Indianapolis 500 I don't even watch. Know nothing about it. Uh, but Pray. Um, Ambassador Chantrell Davis, pray with me and for me. I am praying with you and for you always. Grace be with you and I love you all. Thank you for joining us today on Preach. Be a voice, not an echo. We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be with you.